This is the last break of Web Visions 2010. That was a 30-hour day commercial. I hope you watched it. I hope you committed all of that information to memory because I, all I know is it's July 2nd and 3rd and it's awesome and you should go and donate and volunteer and go to the 30hourday.org website. That's all I'm saying about that. I'm Cami Chaos. I'm here with Kevin Cheng and Rennie Gleason. And they were having a fantastic conversation before you guys interrupted. <laughs> it was very rude of you to start listening. I might just hand it over. I'm going to have them tell you about the talks that they had, which were both fantastic. And I missed both of them. And then I'm just going to let Rennie go ahead and interview Kevin for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I was I on joking, a panel this morning. <laughs> I was on a panel this morning on uh, augmented reality. And after lunch, I was doing a talk on how to use comics to communicate ideas. Cool. I uh, just came over from the room. I was unfortunately competing with Jason Glaspie, which is you always can't. dangerous. It's hard to compete with you Jason. Can't, you actually can't compete no. with Jason Glaspie. Um, he smiles and he does the cute thing. The, 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 the boyish does charm, the right? Smart talking. Yeah, yeah. He does yeah. the boyish charm, and yep. then he says nice things about people, and then you're like, damn. Yep. And ask him about wizard sticks. Um, <laughs> so we, we were we were talking over, or I was blathering on incoherently about uh, how we can try to use brands to do good. Mm -hmm. uh, that also happens to fit within their strategy, even though they may not figure it out out of the gate. Yeah. Um, sometimes the right thing can come through working with them. On accident, for yeah. them, on purpose for, them, for you. For them, yeah, accident on purpose. So it's a whole strategy on your side of it. It's actually strategery. Strategery, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. trickery we, and the, strategy. It is, there's a whole strategical process. It's mm -hmm. a 10 step, 10 steps to strategery. So who are some of those examples? Uh, well, we, there was a really fun one um, uh, called the Aid Pod, and so this uh, doctor in Sub-Saharan Africa was in a village and was dealing with the fact that uh, refrigerated supplies were in limited uh, availability, so vaccines, it was tough to get them to the village because there was no consistent source of power nor uh, refrigeration, uh, and was standing there trying to figure out what to do about that when the 300th time that year, the Coke truck pulled into the village. And it was like, bing! And he invented this uh, wedge called the aid pod, which is a triangular wedge with a little lip so that it fits directly down in between the necks of the Coke bottles. And just hangs there? And, and well, it actually, the, it, since it's got a little structural rigidity, there's a, a little lip that sticks out that hooks underneath the caps. Uh -huh. And so it's held in there so it doesn't shake and fly out and it stays cold until you get where you're going and you can pack it full of medicine. So it's a tiny, tiny bit of extra weight. No additional space is being taken No up. additional space. It uses the negative space in the, uh, the Coca-Cola crates. That's awesome. Fantastic. Right? Kind of cool. That is very cool. Yeah. And they're going to drink the Coke anyway, and they're going to keep the Coke. It's amazing to me, though, that we can keep Coke cold, <laughs> but that we can't. <laughs> well, exactly. And that was the, the part of the conversation was, and, and one of the things that gets us excited about is when you, when you take a look at a brand, it's unlocking the value that might actually be hidden within their structure, uh -huh. not just in terms of what they're marketing, what they're trying to do, but like um, we work with Coke and we work with Nokia, and, and um, I get to say Nokia. I know. It's like having a burrito. <laughs> Nokia. Um, so the, the, uh, the, the Nokia is able to get tens of millions of devices into hundreds of countries literally around the world day and date when they want to sell Coca-Cola. Their whole strategy is the, the arm's length Coke. So yeah. anywhere on the planet, if you have a mouth, the idea is that there's a Coke within arm's length. And those, those two, both of those companies have just amazing distribution systems. Yeah. And so if, if, you, if, if you start thinking that way, think about them as, as a massive distribution system and what could you do with that? Uh, from a messaging standpoint and from a world-changing standpoint, things start to get interesting. Yeah. But not as interesting, as I'm sure you were about to point out, as comics. No. I got it, because you can make a comic about that, and it you would still be interesting. Could. You can make a comic about let me tell you, anything. Let me tell you how many you'd sell. Uh, not many. Yeah. yeah. No. I and might you, read it. But, yeah. but if you got them in the Coke, <laughs> Coke trunks, then you uh, could get them that's everywhere. True. Yes. With With the, the, like, extra promotional, you may not read it, but they'll be everywhere. Yeah. So what, tell us a little bit about your talk. Uh, so it was about like getting how you can use comics to communicate ideas mm -hmm. and like um, an example of like distribution is that USPS used a comic um, maybe like a few years ago where it was a Kathy comic and it was talking about a bad example 
Continue. Because <laughs> it's Kathy. Because it's Kathy. Sorry. I, I hate Kathy too. <laughs> okay. Totally. Yeah. Um, but but the thing is, like, you get a postcard that's the USPS, and you're like trash. Yeah. But this one was a comic, and even though it was Kathy, I still ended up reading it. You still love. Uh, no, I don't really. No. But <laughs> but it was like, hey, you Kathy, do you have there. a stamp? And it's like, and she's like, oh uh, yeah, it's somewhere in my purse, and she's emptying out her giant infinite purse. Uh -huh. And he's like, you know, it's cool. I can just get it like at the ATM or over like. Uh, at the grocery store or online and she's like no it's here somewhere and that's basically the joke right yeah and then he walks away and and then I threw it out but I still read it and I still yeah just like that I need that. one of those David Letterman sound effects yeah. when the, <laughs> but were can there we just zombies put that in, post in the comic <laughs> there weren't because those but, sell comics but I accidentally yes, learned where to buy stamps even if, if I didn't know that already about those other places. Like if they had said, did you know you can now buy stamps at these places? Like I wouldn't have cared, I wouldn't have even read it. But do you, so do you remember, um, was it Boys Life Magazine? G Goofus and Gallant, remember Goofus and Gallant? Goofus and Gallant, it was. Goofus and Gallant? Um, was it, I always thought it was Gallant. You say Nokia though, so it's you, true. you might be so, right. I live in San Francisco. Was it in Highlights? Highlights, yes, yeah. Highlights Magazine. I Fair enough. Enough. You Do you never have any read idea what we're talking about? It could be that I didn't, because I didn't grow up in the States. See, the, the, Possible. The, the, the challenge <laughs> is when, when comic books, I, I think, when, when the messaging is too earnest, mm -hmm. you're kind of done. When you try really hard. Oh, yeah, hard. yeah. Like, like, you, it's, like Goofus and Gallant. If you're Gallant. trying to give, yeah, it's like the G.I. Joe like, lessons sure. at the end. Right? Like, no, and you've seen the, the, the new YouTube, the YouTube G.I. Joe. remixes oh. of those. Yeah. Awesome. So, so you, it's like anything else. Um, it can be used as a way to like low barrier because I'm going to read it, but you're going to see through it if all it is is like this kind of very moral, moralistic stance of a comic. So if like, they're using strategy. Yes. Right. Or the ten steps of strategy. <laughs> right. So the USPS one I felt like was very strategic. I think I remember that particular yeah. piece mm -hmm. of junk mail actually. I think I recall seeing that junk mail and going, I freaking hate Kathy. <laughs> And not looking at it, so I had no go. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll cue yeah. that next time. <laughs> Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. People play along. So how did you get involved in this? Uh, this I, I draw comics, and I've kind of just drawn comics what since kind of I comics? was a kid. Zombie comics? Um, sometimes. You have a zombie thing there today. There are sometimes zombies. Do you always have a zombie Sometimes thing? zombies? Who, who doesn't have a thing for zombies? Exactly. Zombies sell. Um, it's true. There's a good Portland zombie web series. Well, there should be. There is. I mean, you do have your plan for when the zombie apocalypse comes, right? A helmet. Right? And, uh, yeah, but you, well, you, do you have a, a run helmet. route? Do I have a what? A run route. Do you know exactly? The way you're going to go. I have a gin route. Yeah. What? <laughs> Run gin route? And yeah, that's know where your mind is going. Run, I heard an M. M, -m, -m We know where your mind is. It's, it's, it's after the, the it's keynote, the end of then the we day. go. It's the end of the day at a conference. Yeah. But wait, so, so if not zombies, what, what, uh, what, what got you into comic books? Um, I mean, and it's okay if it is zombies. It's, it's really more of a, like, I never grew up. Uh, right? Awesome. Like, I mean, who, who didn't that's start out into in comic books? Um, and then I was saying so your secret was never maturing. Okay. <laughs> Well done. It's a winning Yay! strategy. Yeah, yeah. That's strategic. There, there was one time I watched this movie and the dad is like, all you do is play video games and draw comics. And I'm like, that's, that's my job. And <laughs> my, dream. My, my book. I'm like, holy crap. I've managed to like make money doing those things that he's saying is useless. So that was pretty cool. Um, what movie was that? Uh, it was Ping Pong Player. <laughs> A number one on Netflix, I think. Absolutely. I, I, yeah. totally. I have no idea. I think we're being kicked off the stage, though. Oh, so, I, uh, where, I can understand why. Where can we find... It has nothing to do with you guys. You guys are awesome. It's just that Jason's not up here. If we don't have Jason, we've got I nothing. Know. Is that so. the boy's charm? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the boy's charm. Jason, boy we're right going to do, uh, do wizard sticks up here, Jason. We're going to do wizard sticks up here. Yeah, okay. Right. We're getting kicked off stage because you're not with us, Jason. Yep. No, don't come up. It's it's your fault, but it's okay. Um, this is my last interview from Web Visions this year, so I'm going to say goodbye to all of you. But you should say goodbye to Kevin and Rennie too. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all right. I have a basement with a chair and a camera. I can talk anytime I want She's to. got a gin route. So I have a gin cool. route as well. I do have a gin route. I'm going to hit it on my way home. Um, but where can we find you guys online? Uh, I am at K on Twitter. At K on Twitter? K A Y? No, the K. letter. Just the letter? You're you, just the letter at K? You're freaking awesome. People have like whole extra yeah, words. You know, it's not as cool as it you. seems. Try searching at K and you'll understand. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. And, uh, and R. Gleason on Twitter. Okay. Two E's. Yes. G 
G-L-E-E. -E. It's the two E's like the for strategery. Strategery. Yeah. Okay. Like the TV show? Which one? Glee. Oh, Glee. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's go off stage. You guys can chat more about comics and, the and medical things. We're going to go. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.